Uh, I'm going to Sydney on Sunday, I'm and then finished. possibly down to Tasmania as well. Are you going to Perth? Because if you go to Perth, you've got to go visit Radio Lollipop in Perth. Uh, unfortunately, I won't be going to Perth. Queensland? Uh, no. Nope. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, next time. But you see, that's, that's, the, that's the status. That's what happens when you're famous and you're a big star. You're in demand. Yeah, well, that's so true. So, we were lucky enough to get Sean here to come by tonight. Yeah, that's right. But you know what? What, you're, what you can do, maybe Sean will take a picture with you. And uh, you can take it down. And then and when share. I go back to Perth, I can tell everyone. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that would be awesome. Perfect. Yeah. So Nicole's going to be going up and down on the floors with you guys. We're listening for a song of the night tonight. We're actually doing some cool crafts. We're doing a heart bouquet. Wow, that's yeah. a good idea for the quad. That's right. The quads can hold it in their little pots. Yeah, little pots. yeah. Yeah, and also we still want to know if you've ever seen a koala in person. Call down, right? And are you going to go see a koala? I definitely will. Oh, yeah. You can hold them too. <laughs> and they're really cuddly and warm and nice. Yeah, right? that's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're also listening for our song of the night tonight, and that's um, we're listening to A Dream Is a Wish a Heart Makes. Ooh. Cinderella. Do you know that song? No. Cinderella. So it's a, it's a Disney song, and we thought it was appropriate because we're making bouquets of hearts. Aww, that's beautiful. Because there's lots of love here at Chalk. Oh, right? there's lots of love here. <laughs> that's right. So we're going to see you a little bit later on, Nicole. We okay. thank you for stopping by. No and uh, we're going to continue with Sean. Perfect. Thank you. No worries. Thank you. So you guys, it's Sean here. Sean, I mean, I was, I, I, you guys don't understand. Before I came in, before I came into the studio tonight, I did a little homework and I was looking up Sean. I had heard of Sean before, but I knew that he was this guy who just loves adventure, who's courageous, who gets out there and does all kinds of things. And I said, I can't believe that we're actually going to have him in the studio. And now here you are. Welcome. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. You know, this is, uh, I believe, my. Second, third time now today to uh, speak with Radio Lollipop, cool. but this is my first time in person, so I'm really pumped to be here. Awesome. And now you're you're 26, correct? And you've done so many things up to this point, right? Um, you, you're a professional snowboarder. Yeah. Um, do you do any other sports? I also play soccer. Soccer's a big passion of mine as well. So. I think Sean has some pretty strong legs. What do you guys think? Because you know what, I've been snowboarding, and you need to have strong legs. What do you think, Sean? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> or is there a trick? Maybe there's a trick. No. Balance. <laughs> How old were you when you started? Um, I was, I believe, 12 years old when I started. So I've been snowboarding for about 14 years. Cool. But you have, you have a special story, right, Sean? Mm -hmm. There's something special about you. And you share something in common with a lot of our friends that are here in the hospital tonight, right? Correct. What is that? Um, well, I have type 1 uh, diabetes, and I was diagnosed when I was 19 years old. And then I had to really adjust and, and learn how I could still be a professional snowboarder with my disease. Right. And now, um, for, for those who maybe aren't too familiar with, uh, with type 1 diabetes, it's, uh, you have to really watch what you eat, right? Correct. It's, um, you, you have to... Uh, adjust uh, your lifestyle when it comes to what you eat and what you, your body intakes. But that doesn't mean that you have to adjust what you do, right? Like your exercising or or your sports or being active, right? Yeah, definitely. Um, the, you know, the key to learning about how to be a professional athlete with my diabetes was going by what my doctors were teaching me and working with my medical care team and having them show me how to manage my disease in sports. And for me, that meant checking my blood sugars, watching what I was eating, making sure I'm giving myself the right amounts of insulin, as well as carrying any supplies that I may need for today to take for, for my treatment. Right, and you know, we're gonna talk a little bit about that because you do some extreme sports here. Uh, I was reading up on, on your bio, and I know that you go to some places that are pretty uh, dangerous, you know, or pretty risky, if you will. Um, and we're going to get a little bit of, uh, into that because I think it's important to know uh, the importance of always being prepared, right? Yes. So, and, being, and always recognizing uh, what, may, what may lie ahead and being prepared for that. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that a little bit further. Uh, we're going to go into some music right now. This is PJ the DJ here at Radio Lollipop Chalk. And we have a very special guest tonight. Sean is in our studio, professional snowboarder. And we also have Nicole from Australia going up and down the floors with you. So as soon as we get back from this little short break, We'll get back into interviewing Sean. We're going to put him on the hot seat and ask him some good questions. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> 